Zappere Aude, dare to know. The motto originally is used by the Roman poet Horace in his letters. Here we see Horace. And Horace again, speaking in the house of Messines. But the motto has become famous when Immanuel Kant used it in his essay What is Enlightenment? 1784. Immanuel Kant Kant was a German philosopher and one of the central Enlightenment thinkers. Kant claimed the phrase Sapere Aude as the motto for the entire period of the Enlightenment, the 17th and 18th centuries. Back to the origin of the motto, to the Epistles of Horus, a work composed in hexameters. Please allow me some short advertising. I have useful books for you, popular bestsellers at New York Times. Number one, The 48 Laws of Power, a book written by Robert Greene. It's the definitive manual for anyone interested in gaining, observing or defending against ultimate control. The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse Written by Charlie Mackesy, Life Lessons for Children and Adults. And number three, Can't Hurt Me, written by David Goggins. His story illuminates a path that anyone can follow to push past pain, demolish fear and reach their full potential. If you are interested, I give you the link to the books below. Let's go on with our phrase Sapere Aude, dare to know. Back to the Epistles of Horus, a work written in hexameters. Di medium facti qui köl peter bet saper aude in kipe. In English, he who has begun has the work half done. Dare to know, begin. We see it's quite a different context compared with Immanuel Kant and the Enlightenment. What about the motto today? Today, Sapere Aude is the motto of some institutions, schools and universities. Examples Premier Magazine, Philippines and the official logo or Manchester Grammar School This is the school motto of Manchester Grammar School. Language and grammar. We start with sapere. Sapere, to be wise. It's an I-O verb of the third conjugation. Sapere is the infinitive form. The principal parts are sapere sapio sapivi. About Audi. Audere, in English to dare, is a verb of the second conjugation. And Aude, in English dare, is the imperative singular. So we can translate Aude, dare, sapere, to be wise, sapere Aude, dare to be wise. Next video at Latin Simple, Roma, Caput Mundi. Rome, the capital of the world. Stay tuned. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Please click on the bell icon to get new video updates.